It's only 16 degrees outside. This is the coolest I've ever experienced in weeks. Last week around this time, it had been like 25 or some shit like that. It had been hot as balls. It reminds me of fall, man. All the fog and the cool weather. God, I fucking love fall, dude. That is the best season ever, man. I'm telling you, I don't care. Anybody says the fall is the best season. It's just perfect. I'm actually wearing a hoodie right now and freaking pants. Like what? Let's go. <laughs> and I feel pretty comfortable. It's awesome. I love it. It's the best weather. We are at the Sabina Cemetery. It says it doesn't open until 8, but it's only like 6.40 something. It's really foggy, but this is actually a decent cemetery. I mean, all things considered, if you want to get buried somewhere, I guess this would be the spot, right? <laughs> it's pretty decent though. It's like, you know, it's pretty chill. Me and my daughter, we rode our bikes here often here. But the Sabina Cemetery. It's a decent cemetery. Lots of monoliths, lots of stuff like that. So I'll walk around and show you all the good stuff. Which is not really good to be at a cemetery, but it's peaceful, it's quiet. You know, I honestly I might just camp at fucking cemeteries. Because like nobody really fucks with you at a cemetery. And there's a lot of them. Oh. Huh. It says on the sign here, this thing was erected in 1921. It's dedicated to the American troops, probably, who were buried here. That is amazing. Yeah, it says 1921. It says Sergeant Eldon L. Lee, killed in action in Germany, buried in Holland. I don't know if this is specifically just for him, but it is a pretty nice monument. With an old school cannon here. It's pretty much the coolest thing in this cemetery, in my opinion. But I want to show you another grave. That has a little mystery behind it. It's pretty interesting. Let's get this is the grave I was talking about. Eugene. It says the guy was found dead and then he was not buried until 1964. He was found in 1928, and the people are leaving all this random shit for him. But this guy, this was like one of the most interesting graves. He was found on the side of a road somewhere, and nobody really knew who he was. So, <laughs> imagine not getting buried until 1968. That's like, what, fucking 40, 50 years? That's insanity, bro. Oh, well. I mean, rest in peace, bro. But yeah, let's go to the bike path. Oh, yeah, let me show you the pet cemetery area, too. There's a pet cemetery. It's pretty cool. Over here is the pet cemetery. Which, I've never seen this at any cemetery before in my life. But it's pretty um, interesting and really nice. To do this for pets it's pretty cool it even says here on the sign pet section yeah this is all the pets that have been buried here dogs cats all kinds of stuff some of them even have like pictures of their animals which is pretty neat i don't know if you can see that little dog there but <sighs> what a solemn place i guess you know I mean, if you ever need to go stealth camping, though, I'm telling you, man, it's fucking these places are where it's at. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start utilizing these places because nobody ever comes to these places. I mean, they do, <clears throat> but not late at night. So it's gonna be interesting how to figure that one out. But yeah, I want to include that into my little stealth camping list of places to stealth camp in the United States because I seriously need to start saving money, guys. Like start building something, you know what I mean? Obviously, I'm not making money on social media. I'm not that's not even my goal my aim Like I said my whole aim is just to travel and share my whole entire experience with other people because I feel like it's just It's just kind of it's just weird to travel and just not really share the experience with people and You just you got to you know what I mean, and I want to document my life somehow man I'm insignificant in this world. You know what I'm saying I feel like everybody is too and I think you all understand where I'm coming from we're all insignificant. So if I can make some kind of like way to keep me alive, I guess you can say after I'm dead. <laughs> Ironic enough that we're in a cemetery talking about this shit. Well, you never, like it's, YouTube is forever, man. It doesn't go away. And just the fact that I can upload YouTube videos and just document my journey, my whole life is gonna be on there. It's gonna be like the fucking Truman Show. Like, all the important weird shit that's going down is going to be posted on there. Even the minute dumb shit. That's why I called it raw and uncut, because... 
there's gonna be bad days and a lot of social media influencers that's why i don't like them it's because they don't post the bad days they just post all the good shit and it gives all these people an illusion that they have a perfect life and that's just a lie you know what i mean you can't do that shit and I just don't like content like that where people are just like, oh, I'm happy every day, all day, and so should you be. And it's like, nah, that's not real. That's not realistic, bro. There's going to be days where you're going to be pissed, sad, depressed. You're going to want to quit doing what you're doing. You're going to see that shit. And that's what makes good content to me when it's real. You know what I mean? Like, no fake ass shit. The shit matters, man. At least to me, it does. Back on the illustrious bike path. Oh yeah, the good old bike pass. So yeah, I said I was gonna leave like around July 3rd. Now I can leave at July 1st because I got my sleeping pad yesterday. That was the main reason why I had to go back. I needed a new sleeping pad. Then I came to a realization that when I was sleeping on my deflated sleeping pad, which wouldn't hold air anymore, I was just like, you know, this is not as bad as I thought it would be. So I bought the sleeping pad. It was like 50 bucks for the Thermarest Z-Lite thingy. It came in the mail, I slept on it last night. It was okay, it wasn't all that great, it wasn't all that bad. But it was good enough for me to at least catch some Z's and not be directly on the fucking ground. And that's all I really care about at the end of the day. <clears throat> and I, it's light. It might even be lighter than the sleeping pad I had, the Neo Air. It might have been lighter than that, but I'm not entirely sure on that one. Don't quote me on that, but it might be lighter than that. It's a little bulky, but I'll be able to strap it to the front of my bike on the handlebars with my tent, so that shouldn't even be an issue whatsoever. It's pretty lightweight either, either way, so I'm not even concerned about that. So yeah, we got that. So July 1st, I'm going to head out. Somebody's fucking breaking glass on the bike path. I fucking hate people sometimes. We're going to head out to Moonville Tunnel, get a little scary scare. And if I, I'm going to try to find somewhere to go for July 4th for the fireworks because I really want to you know get that action but there's got to be some cool places around here somewhere so I might even end up going to Yellow Springs for that because I heard Yellow Springs has some decent fireworks so back up there again Yellow Springs is quite nice but I just don't want to spend money a lot at all I'm going to really try to budget hard this month I'm already going to be low because like I said I'm buying shit for my kid's birthday and August 1st though, that's where the real adventure is gonna start guys. You just don't understand yet. Like I'm gonna head to Maine, I'm gonna cycle all the way to Maine. So it's gonna be a pretty fucking tough journey for me. So you're really gonna see the raw and uncut. But let's walk on this bike path and enjoy it for a while. You did. It's like I told you guys before, like the main, one of the main reasons why I'm traveling full time is because I do have PTSD. I have a lot of anxiety. And before I even started my journey, I had a remote job and I never left the house. All I did all day was play video games and smoke weed. Even though it does sound appealing, it does get really, uh, I see something weird. Something purple down there. What the fuck is that? You probably can't see it from here. I honestly don't know what that is. Huh. I don't want to go down there and find out either. But anxiety and PTSD, shit drives you insane, man. And like a lot of veterans can probably understand where I'm coming from. When you get bored sitting around doing nothing, it drives you fucking crazy. Even if you have a lot of things to do. Like I have a Kindle I can read. I have my MacBook. I can watch plenty of movies if I want to. It's just like, dude, I need to constantly like challenge myself or I fucking lose my shit. That's why I like being on the road for because it's a challenge all day. You're riding a bike, you're getting stressed out from that. It's like a good stress for me though. Like I enjoy the stress that it brings. I welcome it. And that's why I miss it so much right now. I know I keep saying this in every video, but that's just how my mind is, man. Like I gotta constantly be doing some crazy shit or my life just means nothing to me or I'm just, you know, I'm losing my mind. COVID was really bad for a lot of veterans. Ask any veteran, they'll tell you. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of veterans that were unaliving themselves during COVID because the isolation was so bad. That's actually when I was at my worst. I was drinking heavily, I was severely obese, and then I turned my life around 
quit drinking, started working out and shit. Did the gym thing for a while. <clears throat> and then, you know, life just happens where my decision came just because, like I said, I was alone. And had no one to really hang out with or talk to. Not that I'm complaining about it. So that's why I decided to travel full time. I was just like, I can't do this shit anymore, man. I'll fucking die if I keep doing this shit. And ever since I've been on the road, man, it's been great. You know what I mean? And I bitch about the days, you know, I'm on the hills and getting rained on and wind and all that bullshit. But at the end of the day, when I'm done, I sit down and think about it. I just laugh and think, man, I'm still grateful for the opportunity that I have to be able to travel full time and enjoy this life I do have. You only get one life, man. That's it. You got to make the best of it. That's all I got to say about that.